I am citizen journalist Chan Lilian. The earliest screenshot you see is the Twitter update from KJ about the arrest of MIC youth T. Mohan. The following clips were randomly shot from Comta 59th floor because I was there to cover a press conference about open tender for the rental of PDC premises at level 59 and 60 of Comta. Press members and I saw the commotion going on at Jalan Dato Kramat near the Bajaya Times Square and a Hindu temple. We heard it is a protest for Kampong Buapala. Just the previous night, all the house owners have met with the chief minister. So I took the opportunity to ask the chief minister why there is protest going on again. Well, I think they have probably uh, been informed about certain things. But oh, did they bring any cows there? No, Not sure. Yeah, can't see, but my. Oh, I okay. I don't think it's going to have anything going to happen. Disperse already, yeah? It's not disperse, but they, it's not happening. I, the the, the resident says that there's nothing going to happen. As like I say, maybe they're just offering prayers. Nothing wrong with offering prayers. Uh. But probably the, the police, after reading the papers today, they are not carrying their duties. But as I say, from what I know, the, the, there's, there's no action that will be taken. There's no action that will be taken. Oh, uh, no. I think we are informed that there is no plan. You were informed by the there's villagers no there is no plan to protest. That it, perhaps they were, but then uh, there, there is none planned today. Then. After all, we had just a discussion uh, yesterday night. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, two nights ago, Professor Ramasamy, who is the Deputy Chief Minister of Penang, had delivered a speech at the Justice for Teo Beng Hock Forum. He reminded Penang guides about the Kampung Buapala issues. All the places issues. But today we see the devil hand of Baris and National in all the Pakistan control state, they actually brought out the legitimate government, para government, Rampas and Kwasa. They are cut out the Kelantan, cut out the Kedah. Now they are cut out Pulau Pinang through Gopala. You know, it is so clear the residents of Gopala were robbed by Amno and Barisan National. But with the involvement of some mysterious forces, they're putting the blame on the present Penang state government. And they're calling, burning all kinds of names. They're telling us they're preparing a grave for me. <laughs> Not the normal bigger grave, lah, you know. <laughs> now, we like to say we will resolve the Bopala issue and we have asked the residents to come tomorrow at 8 p.m. so they can meet the chief minister, meet the members of EXCO, and we have a resolution. But if you're willing to listen to AMLO, Gerakan, MIC, MCA, there is no solution for the poor Pala people. We will fight for the poor Pala residents. We don't back down for the Bob fighting for the poor Pala people. But please find out who is your enemy and who is your friend. I know there is some forces, they want to create a big incident in Bopala on August 3rd. And they want to use that so that there will be emergency rule in play. I'm not, I'm not joking. I'm very serious. Because under the concept of Malaysia number one, I think they have an attempt to undermine the Pakistan governments in all these states. So, Bopala, what happened to Teo Bengok, what happened in Pera, are not isolated incidences. Incidents. They all are related. If you look at carefully, there is a systematic attempt to undermine and bring down the Pakatan government in all these states. Can you allow for this? Can you allow for this? We will fight back. We will fight back hard. All the villagers.
villagers from Kampung Puapala will meet the CM again on Friday 24th July 2009 for further discussion about their plights.